Rocky. Yeah! Celestia, so nice to see you here. What do you want, Nightmare Moon? Your evil ways don't belong here in Equestria. Well, my, my, my. I just came here to challenge you. You're always up to no good. No, no, don't get me wrong. Not a real challenge, a slime challenge. You're on, but the forces of good will always rule over the forces of evil, and we will win this slime challenge. Well, we'll see about that. I'm sure I have a very big fan base. Hey everyone, it's Cupcake here, and it's that time again. It's a slime challenge between Princess Celestia and Nightmare Moon, and this time, it's serious. It's up to you guys to vote in the end who has the best slime. Will it be Nightmare Moon or Princess Celestia? Voting is based on the best looking slime and the best looking jar. So may the best team win. Of course we all know I'm going to win. Not so fast there, Nightmare Moon. Team Celestia is going to win. All right, so the first step is to color the top of our jars. Let's start by doing Princess Celestia's jar first. I'm gonna use this light magenta to go on top of Princess Celestia's jar. Next up, it's Nightmare Moon's jar. And for her jar, I'm gonna use this really cool looking blue color. All right, there's that. Now while we wait for these two jars to dry, later we're gonna add second layers. But while we're doing that, it's time to make the slime. We're gonna start off with about a half cup of glue. Next we're gonna add our paint. I'm gonna use this really cool looking blue to get that blue look in Celestia's hair. Let's mix that in there. And now it's time to add some of these really cool colorful hearts. I think these hearts resemble her mane perfectly. So let's get them in. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Let's get it all in. Ooh, that's so pretty. Now our slime's gonna swallow it all up. Let's mix it in. Time to add our slime activator, which is just some liquid starch. Since we're gonna be adding two colors to our slime, we want our slime on the harder side. I think it's time to get messy with our hands. Ooh, check it out, you can see the hearts we put in there. They look so pretty in the slime. Now that we got our slime where we want it to be, it's time to move on to Celestia's next color. Starting off with our glue again. The second color I'm gonna add into her slime is this really pretty magenta color. Let's mix that on in. Time to add some of these holographic purple hearts. Ooh, these are so cool looking. Let's go ahead and sprinkle them on in. Time for some liquid starch. Okay, we're gonna get messy with our hands now. All right, we're just about where we want to be with this slime. It's time to move on to. Woo, it's time to move on to Nightmare Moon slime. Starting off with our glue again. Now Nightmare Moon is all about darkness, so I'm gonna use the same blue we used for the top of her jar inside her slime. Let's get that bit in there, stir it in, and see if it's the color we want. If not, we'll add more. But I'm starting to like this blue. I don't want it too dark. This is the perfect Nightmare Moon blue. Next, I'm gonna add these confetti stars. I think they go perfect with Nightmare Moon's color theme. She's all about the moon and darkness and what's out in the dark, stars. 
It's about time we add our liquid starch. This color is just so awesome. I love the color of it, especially with those stars in there. All right, we got the right consistency, the right look, the right color. It's time to move on to Nightmare Moon's next color slime. You guys know the drill. It's our glue again. This time around, I'm going for some purple. I think that'll go really nice with Nightmare Moon's color theme. Maybe we can switch things up a bit and make it a little darker with our darker purple. All right, it's time to spruce things up a bit and add these blue confetti stars. Woo, look how pretty that looks. Let's mix it all in. Time for some liquid starch. And we're going in with our hands. Woo, look how slimy and slurpy it is now. Now that we got our slime where we want it to be, it's time to move on to the next step. Here we go. Our next step is to mix our two slimes. Let's start with Nightmare Moon slimes. You must smush them together and start twisting. Sweet, look at those colors and look at the stars. You can see them through. Now we're gonna pop her jar open and safely get her slime inside. Here we go. Ooh, look at those colors. Wow, that's looking pretty neat. Let's get this aside and start with Princess Celestia's mix-up. Gonna pop the lid off, get it ready for our mixed slime. Here are our two Celestia slimes looking as pretty as can be. Let's smush them together and give them a little twist. Now let's get it in our slime jar. Look how neat that looks. Close the lid. Oh, your slime is so sweet and dandy and fit for the week. Quick, every pony, vote for Team Nightmare Moon. That's absolutely not true. It's a reflection of harmony and kindness. And I know Team Celestia will win the challenge. Ha 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 We'll just have to see about that. All right, it's time for another fun step, and that is decorating our jars. I'm gonna start off with this really awesome looking Princess Celestia for the top of our slime jar. And to get her on there, we're just gonna need some hot glue. Remember, when working with hot glue, be sure to get the help of a grown-up because it is dangerously hot, and I don't want any of you burning yourselves. Get some hot glue on her hooves, and we're just gonna plop her right on her jar like that. For Nightmare Moon's jar, we're gonna go ahead and place this really cool looking Nightmare Moon figure right on top. With the help of some hot glue, get that on her hooves. And plop her right on there. For Nightmare Moon's jar, I'm gonna use these really cool gem stickers to really make her jar stand out. Let's start right here, make our way around. And on the bottom part of the jar, we're gonna do the same. And we're done with Nightmare Moon's jar. I think that's looking pretty cool. Let's move on to Princess Celestia's jar. For her, we can use these blue gem stickers on the top part. Let's get that on there, make our way all the way around the jar. And for the bottom of her jar, I'm gonna go with these purple gem stickers.
I'm telling you, Celestia, it's a done deal. I won the slime challenge. You can already tell by looking at my slime jar. Be sure to vote Team Nightmare Moon. We'll see you about that. Team Celestia goes strong, and we won't lose this slime challenge. Quick, every pony, vote Team Celestia. Well, it's the end of our show, and it's totally up to you guys to vote in the comment section who won the slime challenge. Is it Team Nightmare Moon? Or is it Team Celestia? Votes should be based off of best looking slime and best looking jar. I hope you guys enjoyed this Nightmare Moon and Princess Celestia slime challenge. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up for more slime videos like it. A fun fact for you guys, My Little Pony has a new movie coming out October 6, 2017. And I'm sure it's going to be totally awesome, so be sure to check it out. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.